Right, you guys, got another video here for you. Now, if you want to upgrade to Windows 10 for free from Windows 7, then I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Now, you can also uh, do a fresh install if you want to, and that's what I'm going to be doing. But you can do an upgrade or you can do a fresh install. It's entirely up to you. You can see I've got a version of Windows 7 here. What you're going to need to do is go to the Microsoft website and download their media creation tool. Once you download that, you can uh, create your uh, bootable media. Now you can also use the upgrade now from there as well if you wanted to, if you're plugged in and using the laptop with Windows 7. It's entirely up to you which way you want to go about doing it. I'm going to do a fresh install on this one. So just go ahead and create a bootable media. I've done many videos on this sort of topic, so you can check my videos out. You've got the option to upgrade this PC or create the media depending on what you want to do I'm going to create the media because we're going to do a fresh install but if you're upgrading you can use the upgrade method I'm going to go ahead and create our media I've got a 8 gigabyte flash drive uh, minimum inside this uh, PC uh, this is a 32 gig uh, flash drive in here but you can use uh, anything above 8 gigabytes and that should be fine the flash drive is now completed and done I'm going to close this off and go into the BIOS of the laptop and make sure that I'm booting to my USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it. It will then start to boot just as you see here and then all you need to do here is let it get to this stage where you can then start to choose your language and install Windows 10. Now this is if you're going to go ahead and install uh, Windows 10 over the hard drive which I'm going to do uh, but if you're going to update I'll show you what to do here. So I'm going to go install and next up it's going to ask us whether we want to add in our license key now we're going to skip this process for now so go down and say I don't have a key because we can do that a little bit later on we don't need to do that now now I'm going to select Windows 10 home because this was a Windows 7 home version okay so I don't need to or Windows 7 premium which would have been home uh, so I need to make sure that I am uh, selecting the Windows 10 home version because Pro won't work and you won't be able to activate. So make sure you're using the right version for the key that you are trying to use. Okay, so I'm going to go next here and uh, you've got the upgrade version there if you want to upgrade. I'm going to go in there and go to custom and I'm going to delete all of these uh, volumes here on my drive so I can go ahead and uh, put a fresh install of Windows 10 on here. Now it doesn't really matter because you can still use the key uh, to activate your Windows 10 so don't worry about that okay you don't have to upgrade uh, by the upgrade method you can do a fresh install so let me go ahead and show you how I'm going to do this so I've deleted all these now we've got uh, a volume here which we can now install Windows 10 onto there's nothing on the drive so I'm going to go ahead and click next and this will go ahead and start to install Windows 10 I'm going to speed this process up because you don't want to sit there and watch the uh, installation go through its process because it does take a fair bit of time and I'll zoom in a bit here so you can see but it should skip through quite quickly there we go so that's now installed and we're going to restart the system and it will start to get our services and our user profile ready and start to install it onto our drive it's getting a few devices ready as you can see here and this shouldn't take too long and then once we get to the desktop we will be able to use our license key on the bottom of the laptop to activate our version of Windows 10. So here we go, I'm just going to log on to my network so I can download all the latest updates and now it's going to uh, get our user profile ready for this, uh, this account and this machine. So let's go ahead and let that finish off and we're at the desktop now. So now we're here, I've got the internet connected, make sure you've got internet connected otherwise you're not going to be able to activate obviously. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get some things ready here. So we're going to go over to uh, the left hand side of the screen. And uh, what we want to do is make sure we are going to the activation uh, location. So I'm going to go to, so I'm going to go over to the start button here, right click on this and we're going to go down to where it says system, click on this one and the settings pane will open up here and just take a bit of time to populate. There we go. So what I want to do here is go down to the bottom 
and uh, what we're going to do is look for the key you can see we're not activated here at all the machines not activated and we will need to activate it so you should see uh, just above here uh, we've got the system information and you can see now uh, the the Windows 10 is not activated so what we need to do is activate it so let me just quickly close off this box here and you should see it there so we just quickly close that off and go back now you should see an area here just above uh, on the about page here there will be change product key and uh, all you want to do is click on the change uh, product key there now we've gone back we need to click on change product key or upgrade product key you can see it's not activated yet so what we want to do here is go change product key down here and go on the back of the laptop and you should see your product key for Windows 7 write this down and then what we can do is enter it into the product key inside here and click next once you click next it will go out to uh, Microsoft's activation servers and see whether that key is good enough to be upgraded or updated to Windows 10 and activated so it's just going to go ahead and do that so you will need to have an internet connection here it may take a bit of time and you can see activate Windows is ready to go so click on activate and then it should go back to Microsoft server here and check and try to activate this version of Windows 10 with the key that you've got now this is totally legal it's not illegal uh, because you are using a legitimate key and it's fine to do so so don't worry about that uh, if it wasn't allowed Microsoft wouldn't allow this to go through and it would stop this process from happening so just let that go ahead and activate and what we're going to do here you should see it just circling around and eventually hopefully we should get Windows 10 is activated it's taken a fair bit of time but don't panic it will eventually come up with Windows is activated we've activated this copy of Windows and there you go you've now got a version of Windows 10 that is activated and you've now got your version of Windows uh, what you've downloaded and installed now again this would be the same process if you upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and you use the upgrade method you can do this without uh, installing all your programs it will go ahead and upgrade and then you can then go ahead and put in that license key and it will say uh, activated in the same method but we've done a fresh install here as you can see and use that key on our system so let's go ahead and quickly check in here and you'll be able to see that the uh, version has been activated fine there we go we'll go down further and we should see it there Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. That's basically how you can activate Windows 10 for free using your old Windows 7 key in 2019. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.